Hey, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And here's a little tidbit that was created out of a lesson with Wade and myself. So Wade, I really appreciate that because, see Wade is a, a very dominant right-handed person. He's a very fast twitch. He used to be a, a baseball pitcher as a youngster and uh, had a wicked fastball. So because he, he is so extra dominant with the right hand, it's too easy for him to, he could put the club wherever he wanted to with his right hand or the hammer that is. When he was doing the hammer drill, he could take it back here and not even be aware that he was in the wrong position to use the weight of the hammer. So he was doing it with the other hand instead. He put it in his left hand. So let's say I'm hammering a nail into this door frame with my left hand. So where would I put the hammer? So I got my hammer. And I'm going to switch my hammer around. And I'm going to feel, where do I need to put this to really feel the weight of that hammer? So you notice in the backswing, he realized that the only way he can use the weight of the hammer is to really turn in the backswing. So from there, he was able to really feel that nice bang. So now if he felt like he could use the weight. He also got the same release coming through. So as he finishes through the door frame right there, the weight of the hammer wants to release, and he felt this really high finish. So use the weight of the hammer, release. So on the way through, he'll notice that if I'm hammering this nail into the door frame, I can't bring it there. It's going to fall into my knee. I can't bring it here. It's going to scrape my right knee. There's only one place it can go. So notice where that's going right now. Now it feels like I can use the weight of the hammer to hammer that nail into the door frame. So for many of you, this is going to really open up that backswing. It really feels like I have to open things up. Now I feel like I can really use the weight of this arm, okay? Your arm will seem very extended and very relaxed. If you don't use the, if you don't get the body out of the way, right away you'll feel this want to collapse and you'll feel the need to <clears throat> push into the door frame. You'll feel the need to use the muscles in the shoulders, the muscles in the tricep, the muscles in the lats to really pull that in there versus, oh man, does that ever feel like I can pummel that nail with weight. So if you're not getting any luck with the right hand, try it with your left hand. I'm not left hand, I'm not left arm dominant whatsoever, but it really feels like this is the only place I can put that hammer. If I look in the mirror behind the camera, man, that's bang on. That's exactly where I want to be. And then you can try a few swings with the golf club, all right? Feel how the weight of the club is releasing your hand through the shot. So I hope you enjoyed that. Get that rubber hammer out, right? And feel it with the other side, with your left side now, and, and get a good sense for that. So if you can do it both sides, then put your hands together on a golf club and feel the weight of the club release that. Take a look at my hammer through. Take a look at my farm hammer video. Do it with the left hand. Enjoy. Thanks, Wade.